Hello. Hello, fellow old souls, empaths, seers, and psychonauts alike. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, my name is Steph. We're going to utilize the I Scry Scrolls today to see what shapes and symbols stand out and speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We'll also add on Terra and Oracle in the Shaman's Palm configuration and where Mr. Ghost Gif is here. We have Ghost Tube for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures. I remember. Overall, please do receive release freely. All the links are below to help a gal grow. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome home. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. You know the drill with the scrolls. Just going to take a moment. You're welcome to join me in opening up. Or you can fast forward through. Taking a nice deep breath. Closing the eyes. Cleansing the palate of perception. Releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and to honor of fellow old souls, empaths, seers, and psychonauts alike. May you meet the message with meaning. All right, there we go. We'll just okay. I'll just put these off to the side here. You know the drill as well. Grandfather. Hello, grandfather. Somebody's grandfather. If you see, sense, or feel anything, please feel well to comment below. Drop an emoji, a heart. Any interactions with the channel is appreciated. This is a smaller scroll set. I promise they'll be coming out soon. <laughs> it's just been a busy summer. Um, the Omen and Ouija Oracle. So you might align with a word, a letter, um, or the ink in and of itself. Pathetic. You're so pathetic. Try to be cheeky again. All right. So I'm getting this. Okay. It's like a tombstone tower. Interesting way to kick off this read. Okay. It's um something. Again, it's not even the words. Something about shattering sight. I. Okay. So no, it's not shattering sight per se. This is. Uh, seeing between asteroids, the space between asteroids, navigating them between maybe things that you see uh, while well, you're here. So obviously you see, sense, and feel, and then expand out from there. And that's kind of the exactly the situation I, I'm getting here is this tombstone of tower. It's almost like this tower is attract. Oh, are you a station? Or what's my pen doing? Coming into station space. It's very happy. Makes me happy. It specifically has something to do with sight. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just getting over not feeling great. Um, okay. Somebody is asking the question, why? Why? And that's, I'm going to leave that in relation to whatever channel you're working through, spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, metaphysical, uh, occult, etc., into the personal, professional, platonic, romantic, the yada, yada, yadas. But this feels like I'm becoming a station and I'm navigating through what I think is what I said asteroids Basically. before, but it's almost like, um... How do I express this feeling? Because I'm like piloting per perceptions with a perspective. Peace. And there's pieces, right? Like these asteroids coming through. And I feel like I can, maybe I have been like in fighter jet, or fighter pilot, maybe fighter pilot mode, which has its place. Maybe like top gun school with like oh. your third eye and your, you know, both your physical eyes. And now they're like, there's this, I don't want to, why am I hesitating there? Okay. So it's beyond the peripheral, but acknowledging the peripherals there. That, well, that's not helpful at all. Okay. Thank you. So it's like sometimes with the, I'll start with the physical senses. I'm seeing here, right? To, you know, whatever degree you can. 
then I move into sensing, and then I move into feeling. And imagine that's like a halo or like a ring light to like take that shape and then plop it around your head like like a halo or a hat and uh, is it RB, RBG lights and imagine say the red, green and blue. I'm going to take take those classic ones with some yellow in there and they're moving around, right? And one represents perhaps more physical, one represents whatever the case is, along with see, sense, feel in those areas. So it's like the physical, let's say, is red with the blending through the RBG spectrum. I am so far out of my element here. And then, but the physical has see, sense, feel as a very blatant example. And then feel might come through your metaphysical feeling, see, sense, feel. Anyway, I am sorry if this is like random and um, hidden, as Ghost Tube just said. This is the station feeling, right? Like, you know, like if your head was here, well, that's just a brutal head, but say that was your head. And it's this, but it's all different colors and it's moving. Maybe it's like a rainbow receiver. No, I think it's more like a spectrum and it definitely has to do with sights, but this isn't, it's, it's even like the nose and the ears. And you know, like when a, a nose smells something, it's seeing something. That's how I want to say that. And then there's these big old eyes here. Like you even just see like these and like the, uh, the center part, like right here, if this was like right here. Um, there's swords in the mouth. Uh, it's not, it's the positive attribute of swords here. I see pigs flying and I see pigs flying and I, yeah, pigs do fly here because I think it depends on where this is. And I think you can even like rotate it accordingly. Like the colors might go around and around, but then, you know, it's like these are be, I think I'm calling them correctly, but, or even led lights. So it doesn't really matter. And you can, slow it down or speed it up to the tune of music which would be like your mind or you can tune it to your brain you know more intellect this is what this is feeling like i i know we are all about abstract here and it's awesome and i'm just going to keep going with it because it's it's beautiful and there it's like in somehow in all of this spherical kind of spectrometers of sight and different layers of spirit where are we it's creating a square wherever you are like uh if you buy a home and you look at your plot right this plot or where you park your car parking lot lots and plots so while your energy or sights or senses of all, all the different sights of your senses, that's how I want to say that. The sights of your senses Spirit. working in circular, spherical space while honoring wherever you are he physically in this plot. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like trying to spit it out of my face. I'm probably in the way of it, but I think I did okay. Okay, what do we have here coming through? Divinities. I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, get it out of my face. I'm trying to get the words out of my face. If I didn't say so already, Old Souls 2, I will flip this and go into the extended. It'll be the first YouTube link below if you're a second tier secret society member. Or for a one time, you can head over to Vimeo as well. You know, 
little like one off. Okay, thank you. See in here, Speak. there is a symbol here. This is even like this halo-y type thing. I know it's, a, I think it's a coin of some sort, but it reminds me of this in here and here. Okay, I'm on a branch. Hmm. I'm going to go in this in two ways or Hide two now. symbols. So this is reminding me of a, a winter toque or a, like there's the, if you're in Canada, there's like the little design and the little poof ball on top. The other one is it's a Christmas bulb. Oh, there's a third. Uh, I'm straight up going to say crop circle. Doesn't come up a whole lot, but there, there we are. I feel like I'm sitting and talking, but there's something, something under here. I, what it's, is this? it's like a coat hook or hanger, and I'm being mindful with somebody else that I'm talking to. If there's a hook or a catch. Hmm. Okay, so that's fun too. I'm seeing an old school skip it. That has come up like once before and the skip it brings me into the snake. It's like this hook thing. And as I'm talking, and maybe you notice this with, I don't know, maybe it's other people or aspects of yourself uh, or aligning, whatever the case is, I don't need to figure it out. You know what it is. And if it's not for you and you don't need to worry about it, Thank you for holding space for others to receive that. Imagine if the skate, the snake was the skip it. Apparently my tongue and teeth and mouth do not coordinate today. The snake is the skip it. And it feels like I might be having a, con if a conversation with someone or myself where, you know, a skip it is fun. It's fun. And then it can also like bust up your ankle and I'm not sure if I'm waiting for that or if I think it's like something's going to catch me because there's this kind of spinning, just like the halo thing. Okay, so I'm going to bring it into myself. That was helpful. This skip it on the bottom is like so close to the ground and it's working in a... Uh, almost like a detector that kind of you know like a ceiling fan you have to turn it one way or the other for winter for summer pushes air pushes up pushes air pushes up towards this other site thing uh the halo-y thing up there Hoy vey. i'm so sorry but i'm not sorry at all it's amazing all right because then i have here guardian <clears throat> the number 12 might stand out to you propylia one before the gate I think too, for some, you've, you've, uh, positively missed some snake bites Stupid. from other people. Rude, rude, or maybe just stupid people. Maybe they have come in and out of your life and it felt like a loss or you were, you were made to feel that it was your fault why they couldn't be in your life but really you just <clears throat> I want to say it's like playing with the skip it thing and you keep getting your ankles smashed and you're like I, I'm not going to play with you anymore like this is stupid <laughs> this is dumb and you have to grieve those losses I'm noticing here in this scroll it says divine and then we have divinity over here and I acknowledge that symbol over there okay yeah, we can do that. And with this loss over here in this uh, <clears throat> scroll, it's it's the end one of like, like, hello, goodbye, or the beginning or the end. I feel like before you might have been at this uh, same space. It's familiar. Familiar. And I think before I didn't go through or I didn't commit to something.
And when I said this was the tombstone tower, and of course, some of you might be grieving the loss of a loved one, a friend, a partner, pet, and my, my heart, heart goes out to you. Please know that they are happy. Father. They are, maybe your father has passed. They're now part of your guardian team, guardian team. They're learning from like your guardian angels, like they're, yeah, they're guardians and your guardians and everyone's guardians are coming, kind of coming together here. Uh, somebody specifically might also like keep their eyes scrunched down a whole lot. Like I just, I might be, be very angry at my faith or upset at my faith or something along that lines due to this loss. They are helping to transmute it, these guardians. The rattle and the rattlesnake is standing out to me for one reason or another. That's simple. okay. Don't be ridiculous. That's way too many. I keep you said farther. I just heard higher and higher. Okay, abundance and messages is coming through. Look at all these people with torches. And then this Her Hermes has the very snake around around his staffy thing. Oh, you know what? Thank you. On the bottom is beginnings. Thank you. One. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm being like just hard to listen to today. I apologize. But sometimes it's the stumbling blocks that make it easier uh, in the future or later on. Sorry. Between the eyebrows. Right. The scrunchies. And then this one, it's like, I'm seeing like a barbell here where it's like, I'm, I'm lifting, lifting, working on lifting, lifting. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So it's like, I go from like this crunch to the, uh, 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 hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. There's that happy smile again. Give it back. There's something going on in there. There's, I feel like I'm seeing a fight in the sky of like two pterodactyls or say two eagles or two very large presences up in the sky. And one of them has it by the tail and is ready to whip it. And it's, there's a, so much of this circular spherical whirlwind kind of feel or like a ceiling fan kind of feel that I'm trying to, Get to the center. Get to the center. What? Um, you know, I feel like I'm Again. seeing suddenly now an airplane coming at me. Somebody going on a trip. Maybe this is the messages coming in in the plane. We talked about plots, right? Plots. And now I feel like planes are coming through. Planes of existence. Maybe you're legitimately astral traveling or you're going to travel. There's a little gremlin in here, like a little mustachio. Oh, okay. Maintaining consciousness and the void. Look at a spherical, spherical. It's like all these different things are spinning. And I need to get to the center where it's calm. I want to put them in there. I want to put these eyes together. But I'm building some sort of strength in this process. But it's through loss that's creating some sort of space because spirits are coming in. Like if you were one big tower station and all these spirits are trying to come in. Oh yeah. Like see even here. Oh, is that like a dragon? Kind of like seeing those <clears throat> big birds. Yeah. Fight in the sky. I'll see that for sure. And see it hanging off the tail. Not so much in a whipping, but I love it. I love it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. 
There's intelligent information coming through. It's intelligent, I think, from a different plane. I'm going to say different plane. And these, uh, it's still spirit energy. When, you know, we might re reference something as metaphysical, physical, emotional, mental, uh, alien, extraterrestrial, ultra-terrestrial, angels, uh, deities. It's all spirit. It's all spirit. Yes, it's all spirit. And there are spirits coming in once like this channel here Amazing. has gone from scrunchy and not the scrunchies bad. It's, you know, almost like concentrative, but then it's like, okay, okay, okay. Strengthening, opening up and then it, like clearing this out. Oh my goodness. I am. Mm, all right. Let's add on a card before I decide to flip it. Old souls and head on over to be extended if you're going to join me focus see this is what it's like i gotta focus i gotta focus shale and temple in china i kind of feel like i'm in mortal combat but with this air of i don't know if it's just the card printing what's the next one i can't tell either isn't that so weird I feel as though I can see <clears throat> like the plane thing, plane of existence. I feel I can see. Remember those old school printers? I can see all those lines. And it's, if something feels like it's been coming into fruition or it has been a slow process per the paradigm of physicality and the physics of such that are applied, but not to the be all end all in the scope of all spirit, but it is applied to this physicality. It's almost like creating this background. Who else does it? Blacksmith. Um, like how Morpheus does in the matrix and like the background can be whatever he wants it to be. That's the most conducive. And sometimes it might feel like it's been a slow printing process. Goodbye. 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 Because not everybody. Do you know what it is I'm going to say? Not everyone will know a time when the when that's how printers worked. And that's okay. That's that's not some some judgment or because, you know, I had to travel uphill in the snow with bare feet to go to school. This isn't about that. This isn't like competing for suffering or pain. This is about appreciating a certain time to know something about like a point of reference for this plane perceptions to perspective and to have these stations searching searching and also surrounding there it's like an orbit because somewhere in here with maintaining consciousness and the void, the card three, three, three and eight. Those are very significant numbers. And like I said, I want to plop that one, you know, like I want to be in the center of the storm. Dislike. Yeah, because it's a little wild out here, but it's. I'm practicing printing the planes line by line. That is the background. And I need to focus on something. And I feel like I know what it is for this beginning. And the abundance of all this sight, the sight stuff and the senses. It's like the evolution or the technology upgrade from the first printer to printers we have now. And you have this ability to have that appreciation, whatever point, it doesn't have to be the first printer. Maybe it's, or, you know, take a phone, iPhone, something or other, or I don't know, pick a phone and 
whatever the model number is. And that's your point of reference. It's not about, oh, well, I'm, I'm an OG one and I'm this and that. This is about understanding that point because I think you have the ability to, to kind of jump around. Jump around. Jump around. <laughs> jump up, jump up, and get down. <laughs> Okay, one last card. I got to land it on a three because it's just two cards. And then 44 is here with vitality because it's like I'm generating a, a vital signal, a vital signal that can be seen from maybe like other consciousness, right? We I called it spirit earlier, the spirit of all things, whether they're in the afterlife or animated realm, alien angels, blah, 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 blah. This is about consciousness. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. And stabilizing it down Stroke. here. When I say down here, on the bottom we have boundaries, the Great Wall of China. Like, could you imagine building that, like printing? How long that, that took. The reasoning, the whys, but the, now the bounty of that. The bounty of that boundary. And maybe you've been slowly building boundaries, line by line, brick by brick. I want to come in here before I go. And I know, I, I'm sorry. 36, so you also might be working with three sixes and nines, is the, well, the Baobab tree of Africa. How this tombstone tower, but inevitably this is where everything comes back out. Like see here, all these people here. And it's like, this is where everything comes out and it's happy. It's vi vital energy stabilizing to receive all these messages from these planes. It's, it feels like dream recall, but dreams is just one of the planes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm so, so grateful if you have made it to the end. I hope this did inspire, serve, educate, or entertain. You guys are great. Thank you for exploring and expanding with me. And I will see you again soon. So much love. Bye. I come and go. I come and go. Cut the deck. What do we got? Healing. Growth and patience. Fair enough, fair enough.